like we said in the beginning, it's there. The door, the door, like like he break, he made an example last week about how yeah how a shot he's got that door handle and he's turning it, you know he's just turning it real slow. It, it's right there. Right now the lights at red, man. And you know how quick y'all see lights right when they the right the green from the red, how quick it, it's green or it's red, but then whenever the other light turns red and it's time for you to go, it goes. Ksh. That's how it's gonna be, man. It's gonna open, all right. Her days will be no more prolonged, and she's gonna be, and no more shall uh, Babylon be inhabited. All right, it's gonna become a desert, like I said. This is like the scriptures say. Like the scriptures say. Jeremiah 15 and one. It said the Lord unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight, and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then shalt thou tell them. Thus saith the Lord, such as are such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as for the captivity to the captivity. Right, so however, and like we said earlier, in the scriptures, however the most high has you set up to die, that's how you're gonna die. Alright? And, and the other nations, whether it be to certain deaths, certain uh, whether you get, you get killed in the uh, the, uh, the missiles, or like how we said through, through whatever, however America plays out, whatever martial law kicks off, that's how you're gonna die. Right, but the you Edomites, you heathens are gonna go into captivity, man. Yeah. Right. The the nation of Israel is not gonna go into captivity. That in the prior times they went into captivity because certain certain you know, the Israelites that were in those under the captivity. Other nations were conquering them, and some of them died, but although they continued into captivity. But this scripture is directly to the, uh, the Israelites. Some of y'all people are gonna get served to the slaughter, man. Because that's your reward. In verse three, Jeremiah 15 and three says, I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay and the dogs to tear and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to destroy, to devour and to destroy. And that's another thing the most High is going to use the animals, animals to destroy you two thirds, man. Like the scriptures say in uh, Ezekiel, that the, the, the animals are going to have a great feast. And in Revelation, it speaks about the same thing. So the animals are going to be uh, uh, your uh, de your destruction. Right, like like I said, like I said earlier when when, it, when Revelations were brought out in chapter 17, where it says that these nations. It also goes hand-in-hand -hand with, like you said, the animals. Because right now, man, like, you, if you go on TV right now and you watch the animals, how Esau's treating them, man, or dressing them up and shit, the animals, these animals aren't down with that, man. I, like, I was talking to a brother on the phone, and he, he, he said it, too. These animals, man, they know the spirits of vengeance. The certain animals were created for a sole purpose, man, to do a certain attack at a certain time, which we already know that. You know, but they're... But they know, these animals, they know, man, like, right now they're just giving it up to you, so, man, they're allowing themselves to they're, they're animal, The animals are in captivity, too. Right. But in that day, man, when everything pops off truly, and, like, we're getting those spiritual powers, and the elect, you know, we're, we're, we're just enduring to that last day, those animals are going to be helping us. The scriptures tell you in Revelations that um, the earth helps. The earth's going to help. The, anim the animals are going to be in league with us. Mm -hmm. But... Let me tell you this: If, if you if you have a two third coming up on you, and, there, and and that and, and we already know that that two third is not right, the animal is gonna be like you said, they leave. The animal may help you. It's like the the, uh, the example of uh, Elisha, Elisha, where uh, he uh, uh, commanded two she bears to destroy those thirty children. That spiritual power to uh, to command two uh, grown she bears to destroy some some wicked ass kids. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 40 and 9. It says, uh, "Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood." And uh, the thing about it too. Oh, uh, I heard too that the most high in this time, or like what like it says in Jeremiah, where it says that um, the most high has opened up his armory. The most high, he's gonna, he's gonna have a way with all his toys, you know, all these weapons that he's created. He's, he's gonna unleash them all here in America, man. 
all his swords, all his weapons that he's ever created. And, and one of them, if you already know the missiles, he didn't even have to create them. Uh, he, had, he had Esau create them for him. Like we always read in Job, in Job where it says that uh, his own device sort of turned upon his own head. Most of didn't create those missiles. He had, he had them done through Esau. And Esau is going to have the one, Esau and the other nations are going to have those missiles fall down, back down on his own head. That's why I said uh, strife, strife, sword, famine, death. All these are certain plagues that are just going to be opened up on the earth. This is Isaiah 54 and 16. For behold, I have created the smith and that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. I have created the waste to destroy. So Yahweh Shah, well Yahweh, well Yahweh Shah, they created those thermonuclear destruction, yeah, yeah. those missiles. They're the ones that have the intelligence, the truth, and they gave to Esau that ability, that intelligence to come up with the missile, to the, the atomic bomb, the A-bomb. So Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, they created it. Man can't do shit by himself. Right? All things, what does it say in Matthew 20, 20 uh, Matthew, where it talks about the rich man? Uh, he says all things are uh, impossible with man, but through God, things are all things are possible. And, and hang on, and when you go to Ecclesiastes, I believe chapter 17, it says that the Most High gave the seven operations to man. So he, the Most High is the one that has all these ideas, these uh, these abilities, these creations. Man just can't come up with it. Man, man, when they come out, they're like beasts. A lot of the men of the prophets could even said that. You go to uh, Proverbs chapter 30, he, Agar, I believe that was who it was, he even said that he was, uh, he had no understanding. You go to Psalms, and in this particular scripture, verse, or chapter, it says that he was like unto a beast, until he had full understanding of the most of the Lord. So we're nothing. Esau's nothing. It was the Lord that gave him this, uh, the, the, the intelligence to come up with that, that, uh, that weapon, all his weapon. Yeah, because I was just saying that, you know, good to bring it out because I was saying it like it said, like it said in um, Ezra's when Yahweh Shai is coming back, it said he didn't have to lift up bone or a bone or nor a spear to execute his vengeance because I was saying like the most side, yeah, he created. We already know, yeah, he the reason it. the reason he said that is because right. he don't have to do nothing. All he has, he, he just says a word and it's done. Right. And he's coming in his chariots and the scriptures in Ezra's second area already tells you how it's gonna go down. He's gonna shoot laser beams. He ain't gonna pull out a, uh, an AK-47 and, 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 and shoot in the clip. He has to put another clip. He has eternal fire, man. He has eternal power. He's gonna use those, his power. He's, he's coming back as a, with his whole host, man. With all his weaponry. Like the brother said, his, his, his weaponry, that's what he's coming back with. All his power, his glory, his intelligence is gonna come. And he's gonna use it against the, the Esau. But so, so is Esau, he's gonna use that, his, all his intelligence and his, uh, uh, his craft, his devices here on the earth too. But Yahweh, Yahweh Shah are the ones that gave him the ability to come up with these different devices. The Most High, the scriptures say that he created evil for the day of evil. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah. and uh, just say real quick, because uh, oh, uh, uh, Elder Kabar had mentioned it uh, through the scriptures about how uh, it's gonna be the missiles. You're gonna, have, you're gonna have the missiles, and then you're gonna have the, the laser beams coming down, and that's pure concentrated fire. And it's and it, because like when he was reading, he was breaking down the scripture about the mango glass. He was talking about the he was talking about the earth being lit up on fire, that lake of fire. You're gonna have concentrated laser, man, concentrated fire plus the missiles on the earth, man, hitting hitting America, man. That's how that's why it's gonna look like a lake of fire, a literal lake of fire. That's how great. That's how that's how great and powerful the Most High is and what he's going to do to this place. Uh, this is Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord had made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So the Most High is the one that created them uh, missiles. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, they created them things. All right? And they're going to use them. Esau is a whipping stick against who? Two thirds. Not the elect, though. The elect are going to be delivered. They're not going to be faced with none of that. They're not going to have to, they're not going to be, they're going to get touched, but not to the point of death. 
So the Most High, what Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, they created all things, even the evil for the day of evil. This is Jeremiah 50 and 24. I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou wast not aware. Thou art found and also cut, because thou hast striven against the Lord. The Lord had opened his armory and had brought forth the weapons of his indignation. Right, the Lord opened up his armory. So he's gonna come back with his indignation, righteous judgment, and pour it on America and the Edomites and the World War III that pops off over there in the Middle East, which the scriptures call it the land of decision or the land of uh, uh, the Valley of Jehoshaphat or Armageddon. one. So the most side, read it from the top where he started at this first verse. It says, uh, verse 20, Jeremiah 15 and 24, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon. So how is Babylon going to be taken by his own snare? Well, by, well, by what device? That, that ICBM missile. Because if you go to Ezekiel where it talks about um, the, uh, the, uh, the cherub that walked through the coals of fire, it says that out, out of the midst of her, the fire is going to be what devours her. Devours her. So uh, Esau's creation with the Most High endowed him with that, the, with the uh, A-bomb, the atomic bomb, that's going to be a destruction. That's what's going to fall upon his own head, that missile. And it tells you that in Job chapter 20. It says, and, uh, thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware. Right, they weren't aware that by their own device they're going to be destroyed. And you find that in, uh, what is it, Psalms 7 or 9? Where it says that it's going to fall upon his own pate. Yeah, nine. Right, Psalms chapter 9, where it says that the Most High turned and he started wetting his sword. That's seven. No, that's seven. Okay, uh, Psalms chapter 7, and that, that his own, uh, it's going to fall upon his own, on his own pate, on his own head. His own device that he created, but the Most High gave him that. But he don't know that it's going to happen. It's going to catch him unaware. It says, and thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. Right, he's found and he's also caught. He, he's not going to escape. He's been found out ever since the beginning. He didn't change. He saw it on change. That's why when you go to uh, uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus and the Apocrypha, it tells you that uh, trust not thy enemy and that the rust, that, that uh, you wipe it away, but it, you get a looking glass and it still remains. It's still, it's still there. So for all the way from the beginning, from the serpent to Cain to Esau, he's still the same person. Although he's come up with a, a better way of trying to deceive. I mean, it's still, it's in his spirit to be that same character. It's not, he don't change. It says, uh, because he has, because thou hast striven, because thou hast striven against the Lord. Right, because you're striven with the Lord. You, you, you went against everything the Lord said not to do. Broke the, they broke the uh, heavenly ordinances, the commandments. Now you got to pay for it. Now it's going to fall upon your own head. And he's going to use your best, greatest creation ever, and he's going to use it against you. It's just like having a, a, a pile of fireworks, right? You got a box or a pile of fireworks to yourself, right? You went and bought all these fireworks, but then you know you're lighting them, and you, uh, however it may happen, uh, uh, you throw a match in the wrong direction, throw a, a cigarette and that pile of fireworks what happened you don't even realize it they started just exploding and what happened you, there's a big fire you might you might get on your clothes you know the, the little shards of whatever it may be the plastic go into your skin that's how it's going to be for Esau he has control of all these missiles and all these certain devices as far as weaponry and he, it's going to just backfire on him and that's why that's why it's a beautiful thing to say, but it's true. That's why I was saying to Esau, you so-called white man, you cannot, you cannot expect, you, can, you cannot even think, you can't even do it. You cannot go up to the most side, mess with him, and expect that you're going to walk away from him. Because they're, like we always read in the scriptures, man, we always say in Exodus, man, that the most high is a, is the most high is a man of war. That's a true, true, true man. A true God-like man's spirit. But he's a righteous man of war. Right. He's not like you, because you're Esau's a man of war too. But you do it, you, you just love spilling blood. You don't care whether it's right or wrong. You, 
loves spilling blood. So Yahweh Shah, he's a man of war. That's an awesome make you think, okay? Well, how, how do you consider your so-called white people? What, what makes you think you're you're a great uh, 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 a warrior? But you don't even know that who, who the creator, the maker, he man, he's a greater warrior than you. He's the one that gave you that gift. So what, what did that also tell you? That he has better uh, uh, technology and weaponry than you. You won't ever compare, you won't ever find out the the uh, the, uh, the mysteries of, of his power, man. You never will. You can't even go out the atmosphere out into space. You can't even reach the core of the earth. Man, you can't even go to the bottom of the sea without being crushed. That's why that scripture man is to the elect, though. But you should have read that scripture man in, in the gospel where it said that the servant is not greater than his master. You're nothing but a, you're not you're not even a servant. You're done. But that should tell you right there, man. You're not going to ever be Yahweh by Jimmy Shai. None of us are. But for you to think that. To think that because you got this weaponry, these missiles, which, like you were saying, man, something could happen, man. We already know it's not, but something could have happened to where, like, maybe a, 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 a an electrical wire broke and it sparks started going on a missile, and they could have blown up all your missiles, man, and wherever you were holding them. Something like that could happen, man. Then what, what's gonna happen, man? Gonna be... Well, nowadays too, it's everything's done through, uh, like, wireless to the to the computer, uh -huh. electronically. Mm -hmm. And there could be a, a, a glitch to where your, your missile just it, it, it ignite. Well, the most I can control it. Mm -hmm. Because I remember that incident happened, I think, in Japan or China, <laughs> where they saw that chariot in oh, the heavens, yeah. and it shut down that whole airport. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yahweh was shut. the angels, they have that power. They're the ones that created that. They know how to tap into your passwords, encrypt into your own, your own your greatest secret codes. Mosai came up with all that, the equations, mathematics, he knows all that. You can't hide nothing from him. It's like the scriptures bear witness to it up and down. There ain't no thought, there ain't nothing you can hide from him. If you can't even hide your thoughts from him, what makes you think you, can, you can't you can hide? You can hide your uh, passwords, your, uh, your ways of how you control your uh, weaponry. You can't. They don't have to do nothing. They just like look at it and tell it to stop. That's all they do is give it a word. Everything's in, the scriptures say, Yahweh Shai, all the spirits and principalities and powers are in subjection to Yahweh Shah. There ain't nothing, everything obeys to them. Uh, uh, Jeremiah. Even, even you wicked, you wicked ass two thirds and you Edomites, y'all are doing exactly what the Lord wants y'all to do. That, that's y'all's lot, that's y'all's y'all's purpose, y'all's destiny to do that. I mean he he don't want for you people to go against the laws, but that's 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 the way the Lord wants, that's the way the Lord has it set up to be. Y'all are doing everything according to his plan. The whole World War III, y'all are doing it according to his plan. The RFID chip, y'all are doing it according to his plan. So everything, the Mosai, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, they have that. They, they have everything in control. Like, I'm not sure, but I'll admit an example, man, to, his, to this, this man who was trying to talk about the string, the string theory. But uh, he brought out, he asked, he asked the guy straight up, he goes, What's uh, what's uh, I think he was like, what's two plus two? Or something like that. And I think the guy said, like, five or something. I don't know, something like that, man. But uh, the man was like, or Abba Shabbat was like, no, it's not. Because that man was trying to use strength theory. But he, but he asked him again, what's two plus two? And the guy gave the same answer, five. But what's the answer? What's, what's two plus two? It's four, right? It, it's not five. You're not going to get, I'm not going to give you two or two dollars and then you're going to get five dollars out of it. But that just, he said that it should prove to you right there that you're going to always be subject to the ways of the most high. You can't, you can't go to somebody right now and be like, uh, give them, they say it's five dollars, you don't give them four dollars. They're going to tell you, give them one more dollar because that's the way that the most high set it up to be. Just an example of what he was saying. At the end of the day, you're subject to everything that the most high has done or as you do, how you eat, how you sleep, how you think, what you're doing, what you're gonna do. So everything, and everything that's occurring, everything that's occurring throughout, throughout time or history, whatever, or history and time itself, the most High is doing that. He's just, and he's preparing you, like the way he's preparing the elect to get ready to endure through that great day, 
same or to do the time to, to the hell of America, same way preparing uh, Esau. For